In today's class, we are going to learn pure strategy game. Okay, so let's start. Here's a question for you. Find the optimum strategies of the players in the following games. Last class we have seen what is game theory? What are players? What is strategy? What is 2.0 sum game? What is maximin? What is mini max? And what is saddle point? Everything I have explained in the last class. So today let's go with the problem. Okay, this is a pure strategy game. So let's see. Find the optimum strategies of the players in the following games. Two players are there, player A and player B. Player A's strategies are A1, A2 and A3. B strategies B1, B2 and B3. And the combination values are 15, 2, 3, 6, 5, 7, minus 7, 4, 0. Okay, this is a question you are having. And it is asked to find the optimum strategies. So let's go for the solution. First, you have to find row minima. Okay, first you have to find the minimum value of each row. That is 15, 2 and 3. Minimum value is 2. Then coming to the second row, 6, 5, 7. Minimum is 5. Minus 7, 4, 0. Minimum is 7. Okay. After finding the row minima, we have to find column maxima. That is maximum of each column. Considering first column, the maximum value is 15 and for the second it is 5 and for the third it is 7. Okay. So finding the optimal strategy, you have to find row minima first and column maxima or column maxima first and row minima next whatever it may be you have to find the maximum value of each row and sorry the minimum value of each row and the maximum value of each column okay now you are having the row minima and the column maxima right the next step is to find the maximum value of the row minima Okay, that is maxi min. We know maxi min means from the minimum you have to find the maximum. That is maxi min. So you have to find the maxi min value. So considering the row minima is 2, 5, and minus 7, the maximum value is 5. Okay. Now you are having the column maxima, and from there you have to find the minimum value. That means here the minimum value is 15, 5 and 7. From that the minimum value is 5 and that is a mini max. Okay. That is from the row minima you have to find the maximum. And from the column maxima you have to find the minimum. Okay. And here the maximum value is equal to mini max value. Maximum value is 5 and mini max value is 5. Okay, and that is equal to 5 and that is at point A to B2, right? This is A to B2. Player A's second strategy and player B's second strategy. The intersection of that is A to B2. So at the point A to B2, you are having the point, the value 5, okay? And hence, you can say the game has a saddle point at A to B2. B2. Okay, so if the maximum value and the minimax value are same, you can say that the game is having a saddle point. Okay. Now coming to the conclusion, the matrix has a saddle point at position A to B2. Hence, the solution of the game is 
optimum strategy of player A is A2. That is, A have to select the best strategy or the optimum strategy as A2. And for B, the optimum strategy is B2 and the value of the game is 5. Okay, at the intersection point, the value was 5. Maximin is equal to, minimax is equal to 5. And that was at the point A to B2. So, you can say the value of the game is 5. And along with that, optimal probabilities also you have to write. Game A, that's player A, A1, A2 and A3 are the strategies. So, at the point A2 is the optimum strategy. Right. So, for pure strategy, we know pure strategy game. So, we know that it is the player is selecting only one strategy and ignoring the others. That is what pure strategy says. Okay. And the sum of the probabilities will be always one. So, here the player A has chosen the strategy two and the probability there is one. Okay. And for B, he has taken or he has selected the strategy 2. So, there also we have written 1. So, this is the answer for the solution. So, when you get a question with you for the game theory, first you have to check whether a saddle point is there or not. Okay. So, if a saddle point is there, come to the point of that intersection point of, of that or the combination of that and write the answer from that. And also you have to write the optimal probabilities for the players. Okay. And the next class will go with mixed strategy game. Hope pure strategy is okay for you. Thank you.